years, humans thought they were alone in the Caprulu sector. They were wrong. The Zerg emerged, seeking to consume all in their path. And before long, the Protoss, a highly advanced alien race, began wiping out infested worlds, burning Zerg and Terran alike. A three-way war, unlike anything humanity had ever faced, erupted almost overnight. All the while, a human civil war raged. Marshal Jim Rayner vowed to oppose the corrupt dictator Arcturus Minsk for the betrayal of the woman he loved, Sarah Kerrigan. Ah, uh, boys. How about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Kerrigan, a loyal operative, was left to die at the hands of the Zerg. But the Zerg had other plans. They transformed her and unleashed her psionic power upon the Caprulu sector, searching for their real objective, the Protoss homeworld of Ayr. The Protoss were unaware of this danger and slow to respond. Their rulers, the Conclave, had dispatched Executor Artanis to hunt for Tassadar, a commander who had refused to wipe out infested Terran worlds. They crossed paths with a dark Templar mystic whose kind was considered heretics by the Conclave. Through great effort, Zeratul convinced Tassadar and Artanis that he was not their enemy. Together, they rallied more Protoss from both factions against the Zerg. Despite the Conclave's fury, they achieved significant victories against the Swarm. But when Zeratul struck down one of the Overmind Cerebrates, his own mind was left vulnerable. From his thoughts, the Overmind gleaned Ayr's true location, and the Swarm descended upon the Protoss homeworld with all their might and fury. It was Tassadar who kept the Templar from extinction that day. Using the power of both the Templar and the Dark Templar, he sacrificed himself to kill the Overmind. Ire was lost, but Artanis led the survivors to the Dark Templar's homeworld of Shakuras. All prejudices were set aside. The Templar were now in the Dark Templar's debt. Without the Overmind, the Swarm fractured. Kerrigan sought control of all the Zerg, even enlisting the aid of old friends and enemies like Raynor, Manx, and Zeratul. Once her rule was uncontested, the Queen of Blades betrayed them all. Billions of humans and Protoss were killed. The Zerg stood unchallenged, but to the relief of all, the war seemed to end there. Zeratul suspected the Zerg had fallen under the control of Dark Forces. He uncovered prophecies stating that an ancient entity, Amon, was attempting to merge Protoss and Zerg lifeforms into an unholy hybrid, and that this evil might already have control of Kerrigan and her power. It was during this time that Executor Artanis, hailed as a hero, was made leader of both the Templar and the Dark Templar. As Hierarch, Artanis united both factions, and promised to one day reclaim the glory they had lost on Ire. Raynor had vowed to see Kerrigan dead, but his retaliatory strike failed. Even his rebellion against Manx's tyranny proved ineffective against the Dominion's propaganda machine. But with the arrival of old friends and mysterious new allies, Raynor revived his campaign against the Dominion, scoring major victories on multiple fronts. But Zeratul warned him about the encroaching darkness, and said the key to stopping Amon was the Queen of Blades. She was needed alive. In a daring raid on the Zerg homeworld of Char, armies from the Dominion and Raynor, with help from Arcturus's son Valerian, used an ancient Zelnaga artifact to neutralize Kerrigan's power and free her from Amon's grasp. The Queen of Blades was helpless. The Dominion wanted her dead. Rainer couldn't allow it. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could. 
could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the color, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. You must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul. Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to Ayr. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Artanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion!
seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form, Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto O. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this Keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Korhal and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Entaro Artanis, brother.
Inspired Carax, and we will free the Templar. been coming in from all over. Dominion worlds overrun. Outposts destroyed. A lot more dead boys out there. Warriors. Death is the fate of all warriors. The fate we too may soon embrace. Fate ain't written, Artanis. Way I see it, if Zeratul believed you could make a difference in all this, then this fight's just begun. It is your custom to shake the hand of a friend, is it not?
separated from the glory of the Kala. I have come seeking the Zelnog.
broken, Amon. The firstborn shall fear you no longer! facility and turned your servants to my side all that is left is your destruction you are insignificant in the face of the salvation i bring you will come to ire and die into me, so I have looked into him. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down upon us. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers ire, or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. Templar! 
Rid yourselves of Amon! Sever your nerve cords! We are one in the color. Without the color, what will we become? Free. Dark One has been banished back into the void. For now, we are free. All of this because of you. I will bring our great dream of a unified Protoss to bear. We will gather the survivors. Rebuild our cities. We will reject our old divisions and forge a new society. Together, we will shape our destiny amongst the stars.